give the hot comb up to 410 so they can be ready when I need them. So y'all, this is the next thing. And I learned this tip from a YouTuber named Money Jean. I think that's how to say it. I'm going to put it on the screen. So what you do is you cut the combs at the top off so your install can be flatter. And also the wig will be more comfortable. This is a really easy process. Only thing you gotta do is like lift the combs up and cut the thread from underneath. This was a little harder for me because my scissors was dull. But as you can see, I did get the combs off. I did was I braided my hair down off camera and I put my wig cap on and as you can see now I'm cutting the ear holes so it can be a more comfortable fit and your wig cap will lay flatter as you can see I did use lace glue to glue my cap down because I just feel like lace glue you can mold it better and also it don't get everywhere it's not that messy so this was hard to come out um so I had to squirt it on some plastic and then dip it in there and then just spread it to the side. And y'all don't mind me chewing this gum because I'm gonna be chewing it the whole video. And yeah, I'm chewing on the heart. So when applying the glue, make sure you don't apply it right where you want your wig to lay. And you're going to see why I'm saying this later on in the video. So after I let the glue dry, it dried real quickly by the way, um, I cut up the wig cap and then I cut along. Well, I cut along where I had the glue, when really I should have cut along my hairline. That's also where I kind of messed up at. But yeah, just cut along your hairline and not along the glue. Then put got the big gel on top so the wig cap can lay down more. As y'all can see, it was like I don't know, I ain't cut like all the way, all the way. So the wig cap is still like up. So I put some on there and then I let it dry. While I got the BJ was drying, I did cut up the middle of the wig cap and then I tied it into a double knot so my hair won't be sticking out at the back like it was before y'all seen this. And 
and then I cut the ends of the wig out so those won't be sticking out the wig either. Okay, so then I took some makeup and I used the beauty blender because I didn't have a big brush and it worked just fine. So whatever you want to use, that's what you can use. So apply it. I applied it. I applied it along the wig cap and some on my skin. So the wig cap can look like my scalp. took rubbing alcohol 50 percent rubbing alcohol it was only a little bit in there but it worked and i took a paper towel and i cleaned all the residue makeup off my skin so when i glue the wig down it won't be lifting Now I'm putting makeup in the wig. This wig fitted so snug. Like I did tie the little elastic bands in the back. Like it's like two little bands in the back. I did tie them like I put it like on the first latch, but it was like so snug. This is my first wig that was actually like that because them wigs just be big on my head. Then I cut the ear holes, the ear tabs. I always got to cut ear tabs because I don't want a long hairline. I did cut one of your tabs too, like, you'll see, too much. So, yeah, I'm going to fix that, though, just by moving the wig over. I'm applying the glue, like, everybody know how to apply glue and spread it if you don't then yeah, i don't know but i did apply it on top of the wig cap and then i moved it down a little 
of the week out so yeah i don't know how or why but it still ended up lifting so comment down below if you see why my wig ended up lifting i personally think because the wig cap was too low the wig cap was right where i wanted my wig that's why i think it ended up lifting but comment down below why y'all think it ended up lifting So I moved the wig up on top of the dry glue. Um, I was a little impatient and I didn't let the middle dry all the way. Um, so yeah, once I got it up, I placed like my whole hand on top of the glue. And then I put my lace band on. To be honest, I didn't leave this lace band on for that long. I think that's another reason why my wig ended up lifting. was a dark scene by four and it didn't really have a lot of part space so i decided to do a no part i think that's what you call it a flip over whatever you call it so i used the wax stick and i just flattened this side that you see me flattening and i just kept going over it um i feel like this hair went thick enough for me to like keep going over it have to keep it going over but yeah i really didn't have to go over it that many times
So this is me cutting the lace. I cut it by both of my eyebrows up. And then I use the eyebrow razor to cut as close as I can. And I cut really close because I was cutting some of the hair off. Y'all probably going to see. But I'm going to just shut up because this part really don't matter. Because I kind of messed up anyways. This is me using hydro peroxide because I ran out of alcohol to clean the glue off and it was coming off so I guess you can use hydro peroxide to, to get the residue off. This where it all went wrong when I leaned up and looked in the mirror. That's when it all went wrong. I see that the lace was right on top of the wig cap, so I went ahead and lift that whole side up and I redid it. But I think I cut that part out, so it was just me pulling the wig way down, so yeah. This was after I did it right. The second time after I did it right, I let the bands down. And yeah, it just looked good. I'm using my makeup. The make I feel like the makeup was a little light for me. I don't know. Comment down below if it was a little light for me. I still have glue on my head, but I'm gonna get it off later. I want to do three edges this clip um my phone actually died in this clip so y'all didn't get to see how my edges really turned out until I did like the beginning of the video but I did until I finished my hair um so yeah this is me twisting my edges so that can be out the way while I put the other pieces off part the other pieces off and while I part the sideburns off, so I'm putting the hair up. Yeah, I'm just be quiet while y'all watch me do this because I've been talking a lot.
me cutting my edges but um the two side the two on the side i cut right above my eyebrow and one in the middle i cut above my eyebrow too but at the end i cut it shorter y'all didn't get to see because my phone died again but right here i'm curling my edges i lost the well i think my sister took her smart flat iron so i had to improvise with the big ones i'm curling my edges and then i'm gonna just lay them down and then my phone gonna die so y'all ain't gonna get to see the rest but i'm just let y'all see what i got got my got to be and the got to be gel wasn't really working out for me and the edge control worked great so i used edge control yeah and my edge and my edge look good as i seen by the beginning of the video